I'm Trish with today's 2OTD question of the day. Record your answer and join us on the show. Today's question is for all you foodies. What's a food they have in your hometown you can't find anywhere else? Is it New York pizza, Kansas City barbecue, Kentucky fried, uh, you know. Every hometown has its own flavor. What's yours? Our first fan to bring it home is Tara. We have a place down here in Western North Carolina that's called Rocky's Hot Chicken Shack and they have the best fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, sweet tea, sweet potato casserole, fried okra. It's just good home Southern cooking and you can't get that North. All of it is delicious. None of it is good for you, but it's totally my cup of sweet tea, you might say. I had no idea that hush puppies were a real thing. I thought it was just like a phrase and um, I was forever changed. They're amazing. Yeah, I don't remember hush puppies. I used to wear them to school when I was like in elementary school. You guys remember those things. One of the things that I really love, which is not like fine cooking or anything else, but I love Waffle Houses. I don't know if you've ever been to one of them, but it's like you go in there and it's just like you've been like sent back in time for like $2 breakfast and waitress who calls you honey and coffee's always flowing. And it's not just the food. It's the whole Southern hospitality. I, I absolutely adore it. <laughs> it's home um, of the late night fights. What are you talking about? <laughs> Southern hospitality. <laughs> and plus, if you go to the right one, you might see Lana Del Rey working there. <laughs> well, JJ, tell us about your favorite fan answer. Yes, so I found a very delectable fan answer from the madman. And let's just say he has a little bit of a sweet tooth. All right, so I'm from Ohio, and our signature food is a candy or a dessert called or the Buckeye, it's basically peanut butter fudge dipped in chocolate, and it's made to look like the plant, which is also a football team's mascot. A um, weird coincidence, yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of it before, but I'm all about fudge, and if you incorporate a little peanut butter into it. Yeah, uh, you can't make me go to Ohio, but I'll take the fudge. It does sound very good. <laughs> uh, the Reese's peanut butter cup before the Reese's peanut butter cup. The, it is the the origin touchstone of all of that. Well, Keith, did you have an answer that you found that you found especially yummy? You guys know that I actually grew up in Los Angeles before I became a proud New Jersey. And uh, so this is kind of a shout out to my homies back on the left coast. This is from Zach A. I'm in California and we have In-N-Out. So we're already kind of winning there. I mean, In-N-Out's a very fast and efficient way to get a burger. And it's an amazing food item to eat. Uh, you get animal style. Highly recommend. That like most of the fast food places that we know and love from Jack and Box, McDonald's, um, Taco Bell, all those things all came out of, you know, the West. There's something about it that just creates really fast food. Maybe it's love of cars or something like that. In and Out is fantastic. It is so, so good. And anytime that you go anywhere near an in and out it's literally cars are lined up all the way around the building they have people that come out and take your order like at your car before long before you make it to the window it's just it's so popular it's pretty reasonable and it's absolutely delicious is there any uh any food out there that uh really spoke to you i think we should catch up with jay gish and see what his answer is here in chicago they make hot dogs which you can get with everything which means without ketchup. Or if you ask, you can get them with ketchup and with a heavy side helping of scorn. One time I got to tell you, I was with my friend and she got her hot dog just with ketchup. And I have never felt so shocked and betrayed in my life. Just, I was like, I thought I knew you, man. I don't know what's going on here. Some kind of animal? Sauerkraut. Yeah, sauerkraut. I like ketchup on hot dogs, and I would put ketchup on my hot dogs way sooner before I put sauerkraut on. Sauerkraut? Oh. I don't know what to say. I love condiments. I love everything you guys were talking about, including ketchup on certain things, but I just like the hot dog and the bun. I've never heard of somebody liking a naked hot dog. I think that might be more sacrilege, actually. <laughs> so we have a really great mix of fan answers with today's question. A smorgasbord of delicious foods. But fans, if you have a food in your hometown that you think can't be made anywhere else, then definitely record your answer using the links in the description and make sure to do so before our Thursday big show. But now I think it's time for our answer. So Keith, starting with you, what is your hometown delicacy? So... As you guys know, my adopted home is New Jersey, and you know what it's going to be? It's it's going to be a egg, cheese, and Taylor ham sandwich, which is the king of breakfast sandwiches. Is Taylor ham, is that a brand of ham, or is that a way it's cut? 
Taylor Ham, it's it's so much more than that. It's like it's like a, a separate like religion of ham. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to get it anywhere else. I've never okay. seen it anywhere except for New Jersey. So it's spam, but you guys just churched it up and gave it a prettier name. Oh my god. T ham is round. But oh, T ham. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think we should get into the um, Taylor Ham versus pork roll debate. Oh my God, no. <laughs> well, my hometown uh, has a much more delicious dish and it is Speedy's. Oh, they're so good. So it's just chunks of meat. So you can do it with chicken or you can do it with beef. And a lot of people do it with venison as well. And it's marinated in like an Italian-like dressing. Um, but the key is that it's marinated for a really long time, like a couple days. And so you can really char the meat on the outside, but it stays really juicy and tender on the inside. The meat on the roll, and they are fantastic. So I was going to say, and also you said that you like marinate it for several days. That is not speedy. That is like slowy. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Keith, I'm also a Jersey girl. So we have a very unique iteration of the sloppy joe usually a rye bread with slices of cheese coleslaw and russian dressing and turkey or roast beef depending on what you ask for it's like triple decker just perfect combination of textures it's like tangy and you know you got the salty you got the sustenance it's fantastic wait and so this is a reuben you jersey people think you invented everything <laughs> and invented pizza too we, we, <laughs> Did I mention that we also invented the wheel in New Jersey? <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> oh, well, I'm also from New Jersey, so the New Jersey train will continue. But I'm going to take it a different route, and I'm going to say that there's an ice cream shop in my town in New Jersey. Um, and it has these really amazing cherry like dips where they take the soft serve and they dip it into the ice cream. Um, I mean, I haven't gotten it anywhere else. I'm sure other places do it, but just like, it's such a defining part of that ice cream shop for me that I'm just like, do not look down on us, New York. We are New Jersey. <laughs> we got the stuff. Uh, whatever. You don't even have boroughs. Well, uh, excuse me, North Jersey, Central Jersey, and South Jersey. <laughs> well, record your own answer using the links below. And hey, be sure to subscribe, follow, or register so that you can get new questions and announcements right in your daily feed. Thank you everyone who's watched, voted, and recorded so far this week. Remember, the top voted answers make it into our Thursday Big Show, so vote and record away. And if you love what you've been hearing here on QOTD, you can say thanks by adding your comment or sharing us or liking our channel. If you really love what you hear, go ahead and click that thanks button on YouTube, and we will give you a shout out on the air if you send us a thanks. Thanks again for watching today's question of the day. What's a food they make in your hometown that you just can't get anywhere else? But listen, the pastrami burrito, don't miss it. <laughs> Not even. That's